So in your lecture, you identify two different types of agency, individual agency and collective agency. Can you tell me a little bit about the distinction between the two? Well, often when we define agency or when sociologists define agency, they're looking at an individual agent who is acting or capable of acting and sees that in themselves. But collective agency is often what is cultivated when people recognize both the interconnectivity of individuals in general, but see how they're working together to advance a particular issue or a particular um, kind of movement or force for change or good. And it's important to think of them together often because of also the conversations around individual agency and structures of society or structures of oppression. And so to see that you can individually change stuff, but you also can make a greater good when you're working collectively within these systems and structures sometimes. Yeah, and to add to that, um, thinking about my time and experience in Ferguson and the relationship between collective agency and joy, I would say that joy both informed our activism and was produced by our activism. Mm -hmm. um, and what I mean by that in part was, it takes more than anger to go out there on the streets and protest. Mm -hmm. Anger is very important. I went to Ferguson because I was angry. Um, because I didn't know what to do with my body. Um, but what kept me in Ferguson and what kept me going out every night, sometimes in the rain, sometimes very late at night, losing our voices, wasn't just the anger, but it was the joy. And that sometimes took in the form of music, a lot of hip hop mm. music. We were playing Little Boosie and J. Cole. Um, sometimes it took the form of laughter and us cracking jokes with each other. And so those moments, as informal as they might have been, were able to sustain us um, in the midst of tanks and tears gas. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that, you know, is important to, to, to note. Mm -hmm.